guys and welcome back to TNT Madness. Today we're going to be looking at something that I think is really, really awesome. And that is what I call the TNT Compressor Cannon. So this was not completely made by me. The actual concept was made by a, one of my friends called Ignition Burst. Who doesn't actually have a link to like a YouTube channel or anything. But he's just a really nice guy that came up with the original idea for this cannon and created something similar to this. I just refined it a wee bit and made this what what this is here today. So this has three stages. So what you have is you got this firing at the end, which is free TNT going off here. And then also this uses some of the new mechanics in 1.8, like how TNT flows down the water, which can be good and annoying, but in this case it's good. Because what happens is TNT fires here, and then after two ticks, all these cannons disperse and TNT goes down there. And then after another two ticks, this starts rapidly firing out TNT into this little chamber. So what happens after then is then this explodes, pushing all the TNT here, all the way down to this tiny bit here, and then fires all of this TNT here in one giant burst in that direction. And this is by far the best way to get into any base on a faction server. So if we press the button here, we can see the TNT goes off. Okay, so as you could see there, the TNT, after we fired it, it shot into a giant burst, and the bulk of the TNT went really, really far forward into one giant bulk. Of course, you can't get it to be in one giant ball, because that's just the randomness of the TNT cannon, but 90% of the TNT will go into one bit. And also, TNT explodes from the center of the block. It doesn't explode on the very end, and it loses blast power as it goes as it goes far and far out. So what this tries to do is this takes advantage of that, and it fires all the TNT at the at a center point, and then after it hits something, like let's say the obsidian on the side of a base, it blows up and then it destroys the obsidian. And also, later on, I'm going to be going over obsidian video, but as you know, on servers, obsidian has like a damage value, so it takes like t 10 TNT to destroy instead of 1, but it is completely different to vanilla, so I have to explain that in a later episode. So, what this thing though is the easiest way, in my opinion, to get through an obsidian base. You can literally walk up to any base, fire this bad boy up, and then destroy it. It's extremely convenient, and now you can use this and add it to your arsenal. But anyway, now on to okay, the Okay guys, so to start this tutorial, you're going to need some building blocks, 25 redstone, 13 redstone repeaters, a comparator, 25 dispensers, a button, a water source block, and some slabs. So this first bit here is a 3x12 area, which is your main cannon bit. You have your dispensers, TNT, and then your launch pad. We are going to fire off all the TNT, and it's just your main bulk of the cannon, as you can see here. And then you've got iron on the side, which is where your redstone will go to activate all the dispensers in the middle. And then you've got this diamond block over here, which is just this little area here as your comparator clock. And then it just has this bit up here, where we'll just join off the rest of it. So the first thing you want to do is make this little sort of thing here. And then you want to go to the back of it, place down three dispensers on at the back like this. Then you want to move two blocks up and make two 2x5 two areas of dispensers like this on either side and this is going to be your main propulsion next thing you want to do is you want to come up here place down a block here and place your two dispensers here so these two dispensers are your main main dispensers that start firing everywhere and you're going to be using that to fire TNT so the next thing you want to do is fill up the area around it so we can get our TNT so it's not going to blow anything up in between and so that we have that. Now you want to go down to the empty bit between your dispensers and place your water. The reason it's here is so that the TNT goes down here and can't go forward from this area, and that the TNT goes down this area from this area, if that makes any sense. So next thing you want to do is find the back of your TNT cannon and place a button on it. It can be a wooden one, it can be a stone one, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. So next thing you want to do is place down five redstone on your tent on your dispensers here and then you want to go down on one side and place down a repeater here set to one ticks delay then you want to place a redstone around the edge like this followed by five redstone repeaters on the front now you just want to mirror this on the other side like so redstone here repeater here five repeaters here followed oh, followed by the redstone on the rest of the blocks 
Next thing you want to do is you want to place a piece of redstone on here and you want to place a block on here so it doesn't interfere with the other circuit. Then you want to place a redstone repeater on the back here, set to 4 ticks delay. Kind of mistake, I meant 3 ticks delay. So after you've done that, then you want to place your comparator on the front. Make sure you right click it so it's on subtraction mode, as you probably already know if you've ever made a comparator clock before. Then after you've done that, you've pretty much made the bulk of your cannon or you've at least made everywhere where you need redstone. The next thing you want to do is just make a little barrel here, so you want to place blocks on the side till it is high as the rest of the cannon. Then for safety you just want to place a block there and there, and then you can make a roof like so. The only reason that this one looks so different than the other one is because this one I just used slabs just so it looked a wee bit nicer and just a wee bit a little bit of redstone magic just so I can get like redstone up onto there but it works the exact same way as this, this one just is more practical for a tutorial so after you fill all of this with TNT you'll be good to go and you'll be able to use this and become one of the best raiders on your faction server so I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time on TNT Madness